on everybody welcome to and welcome back to another photoshop fashion color grading and skin retouching tutorial i'm celebrity and fashion photographer chris cavanaugh and in today's video we're going to be getting into the video of showing you how i go about my workflow so before we get into the video i'm going to ask you to do one thing for me and that's head below and click that subscribe button to become a part of my family which is the photo family so right now let's get into the video okay so the first thing i like to do when it comes to getting into the fashion color grading and retouching is analyzing the image this image is a pretty beautiful image but it's things within this photo that i would like to be able to uh you know go about cleaning up the people in the background the wrinkles on the actual garment and then also some color grading and cleaning up the skin the hair a little bit more so my first process is to actually go forth and i like to edit from the top going down to the bottom I'm going to go in over here with the clone stamp tool and from the clone stamp tool I'm then going to use my Wacom pen tablet to go and start cleaning up the hair. I'm going to simply click, select around and start coloring, well cloning around this particular place where I just want to clean it up a little bit more. And the great thing about it is with using this you can simply go around and constantly keep selecting you can change the actual brush stroke and the pressure sensitivity of where you're working I think right now they have these on sale on Amazon for about forty dollars so if you're interested in taking a look at one you can click the link below in the description and it will take you directly there so we're just going to keep going around this So we're gonna keep going around this and lightly brushing around the hair that we don't want there. But we want to keep a little bit of that wind pattern, that kind of hair blowing in, but just cleaning up a little bit. Just those subtle little details. Right, nice okay so the second thing I'm going to do is just keep making my way down and I want to go in with the patch tool I would do a clone stamp but we don't really necessarily need that so I'm just going to go in with the patch tool and pull that little shadow away let's keep making our way down And the next thing we have is the pants. And we can simply just go in again with the patch tool and start dragging and dropping. And this is an easy way to remove, one of the easy ways to remove wrinkles, especially before we go into the next portion of cleaning this up. Getting those simple little small details. And like I said, I'm just doing kind of a rough draft over this, but I just want to be able to get those bigger wrinkles and creases out before I go into the second portion. And what I'm going to use for a lot of this is frequency separation. And that's going to be able to clean up the tonality and also the additional wrinkles that, you know, are in the garment and it would just smooth it out a little bit more. But the more you get done within this process, the better job it will look in the ending result. And I'm simply just using the patch tool to go about this. It all makes a huge dramatic difference in the end. And right now I'm kind of going between my actual mouse and also my Wacom
And if you want to find a lot of the color grading that I will be doing with the Photoshop actions, I have a photography store that is great for photographers such as yourselves who are watching this to be able to go and check out some of my photography lighting diagram booklets and ebooks and then also my products when it comes to Photoshop color grading. It's a lot of great different packages in there, over 15 different Photoshop LUTs that show you how I get the results within my color grading. So I'm going to go up, show you a quick before and after where we are so far. Like I said, all of this is going to be corrected when I go into the frequency separation and as we keep going along, we'll, you know, clean, clean, cleaning it up a little bit more as well. The next portion I want to go into before we get into the skin is removal of people. Now it's multiple ways to do this. One of my ways is to also use this uh, freak, sorry, I'm going down the wrong thing. Use the patch tool and with the patch tool, you can simply select around the area. You can right click content aware and you can either do this method of content aware, just making sure it doesn't select around a lot of the area you don't want. Uh, or what you can do is simply just go in one by one and drag and drop. Let's do that over. So we're just going to go over here sample around it's actually go right there perfect There we go. And we'll clean up this up a little bit more as we continue to go in different spaces. Okay, so I'm just going to back out once again and I am going to go to the first front portion of this. And for this, what I'm going to do is go in with a lower opacity clone stamp and I'm simply going to just start kind of cloning over this particular portion. I'm going to move my opacity up a little bit more. And then I'm also going to go in here with the pen tool. I'll just clean this up just a little bit. Let's go back. Perfect. Click that selection and the clone stamp tool. Add a lighter kind of opacity, not getting too close to that. Okay. Perfecto. Here we go. And now what we will do is go back up before, after. And what I would like to also do is go into cleaning the face up. So like I said, she has a pretty good, uh, you know, face when it comes to like texture and tonality. So I'm going to just simply start going into the frequency separation category. And I am going to go in with a low frequency separation for the face. And what this is going to do is allow me to start using frequency separation, Gaussian blur, and smoothing out the skin texture and tonality within this image. So as I start to go around, you'll start to see it change little by little. And I can also control this with my brush strokes using my Wacom pen tablet. And just constantly just keep going around and around. Okay. 
there we go and then i'm going to just draw out a little bit and while we're here i'm going to kind of do the same thing along the arms I'm just cleaning this texture and tonality up and then I'm going to just do a rough draft over these pants real quick because I probably will come back up here with an additional swipe and stand by at a different frequency to make sure I'm really getting it all smoothed out. Okay, so I'm going to zoom out. I am going to deselect. I'm going to show a little bit of what we've done just in that simple task. And I'm also going to zoom back in. And I want to, before we go into the color grading portion, just add a little bit of brightness to the eyes because we're going to lose a little bit of that when we start to control the color grading. Okay, so now what I want to do is go into the color grading aspect and I'm not going to go fully into it. Well, you know what? I'm going to show you how I actually do the full process of it. Most of the time I would just throw in an action, which is one of my uh, actions that I use for this particular image. It's called Luxury Sand. I'll click it and show you it. Oh, let's see, let's go back. And it would do its whole thing and come out with the result. Here, let's see, we missed a little spot just now. There we go. And this would be the full result of that. But I'm going to take you through my entire process of how I got this result. So the first thing I like to do is go into the uh, color balance and I want to add some warmth within it. So I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow, some red, and also within this adjustments, I'm going to add some contrast. Then we go over to the selective coloring. I know that I want to also just add a little bit of additional warmth within the skin, within the reds and the yellows, magentas, pulling things back, pushing things forward. And all of it just plays a, a balancing act between everything. Going into the blues, if I want, want it to pull the blues down a little bit or kind of play and push them forward a little bit, I could do that as well. See that? I do want to kind of play it down a little bit more. So I'm gonna push my cyans up a little bit as well. And all of this plays a part in your own custom fixings to how you would like for your images to come out as well. So it doesn't have to automatically replicate this, but There we go. I want to add a little bit more contrast within this. And then we're going to go up here to the saturations, bring that saturation down a little bit. Bring a little bit more warmth back within the image. Red, yellow. We can go to some of the shadows and tones and push things forward. All right, and then I'm gonna go right back up into the uh, selective coloring. 
because I want to play with these oranges and yellows a little bit. Bring that golden tone to the skin. All right, I'm liking how that's coming along. Let's play with the adjustments a little bit. Cool. And what I always like to do as well is get into the actual cropping portion. Cropping plays a huge portion within the image. So we're just gonna come and straighten this out just a tiny bit. And I just wanna add a little bit, a little bit more red, a little bit more. I want it a little more warmer than the usual. And you know what? I really like that. It looks really good. It looks very polished, put together and clean. So I'm going to show you a original before and an after. So this is the finished result. If you like it, give a like to the actual video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to become a part of my photo family. And if you have any questions, leave them in the comment section. Also head in the description, check out my photography store. It helps to support the channel and the shoots and everything we have going on. And I will see you back in the next video. I'm out.